important question. Have you figured out the Dutton family tree? And can you explain it to all of us? Uh, <laughs> I've got a working knowledge of it. I could be wrong, but I think I've, I've got it pretty clear. I've gone on deep Google dives trying to figure it out. There are a lot of theories, but there's a little mystery here. Well, it, that's because nobody's straightened us out yet. I know. So you're not going to straighten me out today. I don't think I should be the one. <laughs> One thing is not secret. Harrison Ford, 80 years old and six decades into his illustrious career, pours everything into his work. And his first foray into television has him enduring the brutal elements in Taylor Sheridan's ubiquitous Yellowstone universe. People talk about the conditions on these sets of the prequels, they the rugged outdoors. They don't talk about it, they complain about okay, it. Okay, are you among the complainers <laughs> or are you a sturdier sort? Uh, I'm down with it. It's sometimes uh, bloody cold. Range war's already started. You're really on those horses. I heard some of your co-stars said you went fast, like they had to catch up with you. Well, the horse went fast <laughs> and, I, and I went with it. The reality of the, of the thing is uh, amazing. I mean, we were out there with 1,200 sheep, 800 head of cattle. How does that add to it, add to your work and what you're trying to do? Well, you're really there really doing it. I mean, when we're out there with the cows, we're herding the cows, <laughs> you know, the actors and a bunch of real cowboys. When Taylor Sheridan comes to you, is there like an endurance test? Do you have to like pop down and do 20? Do you have to demonstrate your skills? I can rope a, a cow. No, I would not have passed. I can't, I can't rope a cow. It's gonna be the last thing you ever do. The hat is key for Jacob Dutton, and I read yeah. that you had looked at 70 plus hats to get it right. Yeah. So what makes the hat right? It's my hat. <laughs> Look at the feel, the look. No, it was my hat. Oh, it literally was your hat. Yeah. So the costumers went through all these hats and you just yeah. said, how about this one? Yeah, the last one. You could have saved them some time and energy. I could have, but I didn't want to use my hat. I'm not worried about the other 11. Just you. In the series, we've had four episodes. I thought for a minute they were going to kill off your character. And I was so mad. Oh. I would have been mad too. <laughs> I have suffered an ambush and I have uh, taken, according to the dialogue, nine bullets and uh, it didn't kill me. And my lovely wife is gonna nurse me back to health. His lovely wife is played by Helen Mirren. The series set at Yellowstone Ranch 100 years before Kevin Costner's turn in the modern era. Your character is living in a time of change. It's one foot in the saddle and one foot on the gas. Yeah, literally. And we're working with the myth of the West, and we're watching it be battered a bit by the realities of conflicting interests. What was it like being reunited with Helen Mirren? That was a delight. It's almost as if we'd been married for 40 years. <laughs> 40 years ago, they were married in the 1986 film, The Mosquito Coast. But she's a delight to work with. She doesn't take herself terribly seriously. There's a way in which your two characters are a unit, or operating as a unit. Yeah. I asked Taylor about the relationship before we had a script, and he said he doesn't like to write conflict in, in families. That's ironic. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> I've seen Yellowstone. I'm not sure he's holding to that principle. Uh, I'm not sure he is either. <laughs> There's rumors of a second season. Yeah. Will you be there? Yeah. Oh, I love it. You know what? It's not like interviewing a politician. I just got a direct answer. Thank you so much. Uh, well, we could just pack it up and wait for next season. <laughs> no, no, wait. No, I have Harrison Ford with me. You don't get out of it that easily. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps not. Well, we have to talk about Indiana. What does it mean to you to be having this epic character come back to us? I'd always wanted to see Indiana Jones at the end of his career, towards the end of his life when everything catches up to him. They didn't have to beg and plead and control. Oh, no, no, I wanted to do it. So when you say this is the last time for Indiana, uh -huh. you know what us fans here, we think you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> 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 so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I know that other projects are being developed for television and I'm not part of that. Yeah. So for me, this is the last time. Do you feel like fans will like the story and how it ends? Fair. I hope they'll like it. I mean, it's entertaining and it's, uh, and it's a little surprising and it's bold. So uh, I'm happy with it. 
I don't need another lecture. It's about Gabby. Oh, I was kind of looking forward to a fight. You have another TV show, Shrinking. I read a review from NPR that says that you give the funniest performance this reviewer has ever seen from you. A whole new comic gear. How about that? Just in time. <laughs> Just in time at age 80. Yeah. Do you ever read reviews? <laughs> I'll, I'll read that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Spoiler That's alert. Funny. So do you think you'll act forever? That's really more of a request than a question. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. The idea of, uh, of not working doesn't make much sense to me. It's really where I feel most alive. Did you ever think about what might have been if that road didn't open up, what your life might have been like. At the risk of not being uh, appropriately reflective, I never think about it. <laughs> I'm going for reflective here. No, that's what my wife is always wanting, <laughs> <laughs> the direction she wants me to go, but I'm too busy trying to figure out what I'm doing right now. What has it meant to you, this life? It's meant a life of contact with extraordinarily gifted, people with whom I've had the pleasure of spending time. I cannot imagine a better way to spend my, my time. I think you were pretty reflective. Well, ish. Uh, ish. Maybe next time we meet, <laughs> I'll go I'll a little deeper. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I really you. appreciate it. Hope, uh, well, I hope uh, your husband uh, wasn't watching yeah. that. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, that I hope was this is no. oh, oh, By the way, on? that was a little something going on there. <laughs> well, look, I have to say, you kept your cool, which I thought was amazing. Because he's with Harrison Ford. He is my favorite movie star but of all time. He's all when of he, our favorite when stars. he departed, there is photographic proof that maybe you didn't totally keep your Oh, I cool. lost it. Yeah. <laughs> you, wow. That was post it. But how, how great was that to be in the room with you? You know what? It was really exciting. And we get to meet everyone on this show, but I had never met him yeah. and when I was thinking about all the movies he's done mm -hmm. every movie that's my favorite witness yeah. the fugitive yeah. Star Wars yes. I mean all of it, all of it. All, it's, it's it's always him. him it's him so yeah I Working tried to girl. be normal and you, <laughs> you know pulled it off. You did. You I know. I know. It was a fantastic conversation. Maybe and this really show. Was. He's perfect for this show. Yeah. yeah. You know, he probably never would have thought he was going to do television, but it's at a state now where the quality is so good yeah. that, that it can it can hold the great Harrison Ford, and he's great in it. He's right. great in it, and I mean, it's grueling. You can't believe he's right. 80 years old. So. Riding horses. He, by the way, he was just delighted during the interview. I oh, love the I love the whole shot. vibe. That it was, was fun. really fun. Yeah. He's, yeah. There's he a shot you'll get invited work. to Christmas at his house. There's a shot. I think so. Well, I'm available. All right. We should mention new episodes of Night. 1923 returned to Paramount Plus on Sunday. Al, over to you. That's hard to act to follow there. That's pretty good. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.